Welcome to Megger's technical support videos. Today we will learn about simple RAM test feature. The software is currently being shown in simulation mode. On the home screen, click select new test icon and then select simple RAM test icon to navigate to the ramping screen. You can choose the options you need to ramp like amplitude, phase angle and frequency for current or voltage channels by clicking this button. Selecting 1, 2 and 3 icons will enable all the channels to be ramped. Based on the element under test, you can choose particular type of ramping. For instance, you can choose stair ramp option to perform a 51 element pickup test. You can choose pulse ramp or binary search option to perform 50 element pickup test. The ramp characteristic figure shown on the right side changes as per the RAM type selection. To configure multiple RAMs in the same test, you can click this icon and choose the number of RAMs needed for your test. The options available to change for each RAM screen will be same as shown here. Let us learn how to configure the stair ramp option. By default, stair ramp option is selected. Expected trip field refers to the expected pickup value for the element being tested. Start value for the ramping is configured to 85% of the expected trip value. And stop value for the ramping is configured to 120% of the expected trip value. These values can be edited as per your test requirement. If your test requires pre-fault values before you perform the ramping, you can provide some pre-fault time. You can then enter the pre-fault values for those respective channels being used in the test. You can edit the increment value for the ramping test based on how fine or coarse you want the value to be ramped. You can change the dwell time as per your test requirement or leave at the default value as shown. If you have configured multiple RAMs, you will have multiple options for start value in all the RAM screens except the first one. Navigate to the next RAM screen and click on the start value field. These are the available options to choose from. Start is value will start ramping at 85% of the expected field value shown in the present screen. Start is percentage last value will start ramping at 85% of the last value that the previous ramp screen stopped at. Start is last value will start ramping from the last value that the previous ramp screen stopped at. This icon will allow you to show all the ramps in the report. Binary input settings icon will allow you to configure a particular binary input for this test. Once you have configured the screen, press the play button to run the test. Once the test is started, the pre-fault values will be injected for the pre-fault time duration after which it switches to the 85% of the expected value and starts ramping at the rate of set increment. Once the relay picks up, the test stops and provides you the end ramp value, which is nothing but the actual pickup value when the element picked up. Click on Add to Report button to add this result to the report. Pulse ramping and binary search ramping options will be explained in another video. Thank you for watching this video.